Hey, what's up, people? What's up? All right, here we go. I'm painting some flowers because I can't. Because I'm the world's greatest living artist. Only the world's greatest living artist can do this kind of ish. Here we go. Painting some flowers. I started doing the outline, as you can see right here. I was going to record a little bit prior to this, but uh, decided to just uh, record afterwards. I was too lazy. I didn't go get the camera in time. Not the camera, the tripod. Check it out. Pure color, yellow. Okay, those of you who are like, dude, I can't, I can't, I can't. You, you better can. You better can. If it's your career, I'm not telling you to go and do what I'm doing. I'm saying, I'm saying, figure out your deal. You can. You can do it. Si se puede. Si se puede are the, the probably the strongest words in Spanish. The most powerful words are si se puede. Where there is a will, there is a way. Let's do this. So I'm doing this with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. Doing some flowers. Who can do some flowers better than the world's greatest living artist? Bam! I don't know. Nobody can. <laughs> so here we go. Check it out. Check it out. Check, 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 check it out. Look at that, man. Oh, it's strong. It's powerful. By the way, I use toilet paper to clean my brushes. Check it out. Bam. Okay. Now, if you're if you're worried about uh, here here's a little a little trick, guys. See, it's it's a trick actually. If you're worried about uh, spending too much oil paint, just look at just go to a museum and see how much paint they use. Uh, a lot of artists today we don't like using paint. You know, we're like, oh my God, that's too much paint. Guys, you, you haven't seen the, 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 I'm not talking about the post-impressionists like Van Gogh and, and Gauguin and all these other guys who also used a lot of paint. Look at about like Rembrandt. <laughs> like go check out, they're not washes, guys. Some people are confused and they're like, oh, it looks so smooth in their, wa their washes. What is in thick paint? They paint thick. They, they, Rem, I think Remmer was the one who talked about this. Paint thick, doesn't matter how thick you paint, you can always create like layers around it. He liked to paint, use, use a lot of paint. A lot of great artists use a lot of paint. As a matter of fact, if I'm not using a lot of paint, I'm, I'm a little worried, actually. I get a little worried. I'm like, dude, what's going on? How come you, you are not using a lot of paint? Start getting, start getting a little bit anxious. You know, I'm like, muchacho, que pasa? And then I have to accept, I have to snap out of it and be like, oh, dude, I'm not using enough paint. You know, the, the number one problem, really, it's not that you're not using a lot of paint. The number one problem is really that you're not painting enough. And I know that this sounds crazy because a lot of people are like, oh, my God, I paint so much. Do you paint so much or do you have all of your focus on it? Because if, if you just feel like you're painting so much, see, the brain is a, the, the brain, the, the brain fucks with you. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm a Mexican, not a Me I'm a Mexican, not a Mexican. Bam! <laughs> yeah. The, the, the brain will mess with you. The brain will start telling you, dude, you're already doing enough. You're doing so much. Go take a break. Go to sleep. And on and on and on. You listen to that? Good luck to you. Good luck to you if you listen to that. You don't want to listen to that because 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 it, it, it's all subjective, you know. Like the, the the brain will tell you that you are you're spending too much time in the studio. Don't you have a life, guys? I'm gonna just be honest with you. Anyone who's done anything, go check out on Instagram. Any of the people who are doing anything serious, whether it be working out, making artwork, you know, anything serious, they work their eyeballs out. They don't listen to that part of their brain, at least while they're winning at it. I don't know, maybe later on they're like, oh my God, I'm overworking. Uh, working is, it, it gives the sole purpose, guys. I, you don't need me to tell you that, you guys know that. But this is my channel, so I get to see what we want. Uh, working gives you purpose, sense of self. You know, it, it, it I believe that it even promotes health. And I know some people are like, oh my God, that's not true. Uh, it just, it's just a matter of paying attention to people who have done things in life. Very, very, very big things in life. 
if you notice, they didn't, they never got sick because they work a lot. They got sick. The people that got sick or that got like, like you know, that I'm, I'm tired of life and and I, I'm I'm talking about mentally, right? Not necessarily physically, because because a lot of times, many times actually, you can't it's you can't really prevent that. That's just life, right? But uh, I think about mentally where they're like, oh my god, I'm so tired. I don't want to do this anymore. They get a little bit. They get anxious. I know because I, I used to I used to have anxiety episodes, and guess where they come from? Every time that I have an anxiety, I, I don't anymore. But when when I used to, uh, every time that I had an anxiety episode, it was because I wasn't working at life. I wasn't doing my deal, guys. I was fucking around. I was like I was like I want to be an artist, but first I'm gonna go drink in the I'm gonna go to the bar, have some cigarettes. Drink some beers while I think about all this thing that I have to I have to be an artist. It's bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. You're, you're postponing your goals. You're postponing your dreams. You're actually it, it hurts the soul when you don't go hard at it. And sometimes when you when things aren't working, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been I've been very 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 fucking guilty of this. Sometimes when things are not working, and I'm I would even say. All the time, because sometimes it sounds like I don't even believe it. When things aren't working, guys, and you feel like you're you're working a lot, you might want to check into that. I know it's not popular. I know some people are like, oh, that's not true. This has happened to me always. Not 9 out of 10, not 6 out of 10, 10 out of 10 times this has happened to me. Where I'm feeling like I'm overworked, right? Oh my God, I'm so overworked. And the reality is that I'm not really overworked. I am thinking a lot about work. I'm not really moving as much as I'm thinking about work. So when things aren't working for you and you feel like you're already working a lot, I want you to, to consider that you may not be working a lot. I know that the people don't like hearing this. I know I don't like hearing this from time to time because I feel like I'm I'm overworking so much, and then I snap out of it, and I'm like, oh my god, dude, you weren't working so much, you were thinking so much. You were thinking a lot. You weren't really moving with gusto, passion, excitement. You weren't pounding, 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 pounding. You're thinking so much. You're like, you're like, oh my god, here, uh, mm, I'm gonna think about I'm gonna think about work. I'm gonna think about work. That's what I'm gonna do today. Dude, don't think about work. Work. If you think about work, you're not gonna work. I promise you that. If you're thinking about work, you're not going to work. If you're thinking about your paintings, if you're like, oh, let's see. Oh, okay, I'm going to paint. Dude, don't, don't, don't. Suppress the whole idea of thinking about your paintings by actually painting something. Who cares what you paint? Make something up. I don't know. I'm making these flowers up. Make something up. You know, who cares what you paint? Just paint something. And then that will prompt you to the next painting. And then that'll prompt you to, to, it doesn't matter what it is, you know. We get stuck on the whole, oh, dude, I got to think about it. Wait, I have to, oh, I have an idea. And then, and then the mind tricks you into thinking that if the more better ideas you have, the better you are. But that's not true. Ideas come from doing. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Sometimes when you're doing, you think you're doing too much and you're really not. And this happens to me 10 out of 10, you know, when I'm like, oh, my God, I'm doing so much. Dude, I look back and I'm like, dude, you're just crying. You're just crying. Because, see, when you're thinking, you're suckered into believing that you're doing more than you're doing. That's, that's what's sad about, about thinking so much. You know, that's what's sad about thinking that you are a, a deep thinker. Because, you know, I, I, I fall into this category a lot. I think that because... Because I like talking about stuff, I like thinking. I fall into thinking that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm this, this, this big bad boy who's a deep thinker. And the reality is that dude, thinking doesn't pay the bills. Doing does. Thinking does not make anything happen. It's the doing. The doing is, is what has helped me get a studio, has helped me uh, talk to people about my artwork. It's, it's in the doing. And it's and it's and it takes more doing, okay. A lot of people don't say this. Only only a few people out there are actually saying this. It takes more doing than what you imagined it would. This is why it's so painful because you're already feeling like you're doing so much. 
It actually ta takes a lot more doing than what you actually, than what you think it takes. If you want to be an artist and you, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to paint a few, a couple of paintings, I'm going to put some stuff on, on Instagram, and I'm going to make it happen, you are so, so wrong. It's going to take 10, 20 times the effort that you think it will take. It's going to take a lot more than what you think. The doing part is really the thing that's going to make it happen. <laughs> I love that. Oh, de nada. I'm going to read some stuff. You're really inspiring with us. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And you know, if you if you're uh, if you're an artist and you happen to to find yourself in a place where you're like, man, I don't know what's going on, just just amp up the volume. It's gonna be painful because you may not be you may not be used to it, or you might be thinking that you're so busy, you're so busy. Oh my God, I'm so busy. <laughs> amp up the volume, amp it up. And move, move strong, move fast, keep moving. If you're tempted to sit there and think about it, get up and do something, and 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 you'll find your rhythm. You're just gonna start finding the rhythm, and then once you find that rhythm, amp it up again, baby, and then you'll find it. Anyway, you start vibrating like muy loco, like like you know, kind of like me. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. I hope that you guys had some fun with this. My name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. Amp it up. Amp it up. You can do it. You can do it. I love that. I'm a Mexican. Not a Mexican. I'm a total Mexican. Mexican. Yeah. Well, there we go. Look at it. Muy bueno. By the way, this baby is going to eBay. I'm going to go auction this one. I'm going to start the auction at 99 cents. If you want a shot, a shot, a shot at it, go for it. Uh, just click on the, on the link in my profile. You're going, to see, uh, you're going to see all kinds of cool auctions. Man, I, I'm probably the only artist that's like, dude, just, it's going to go to a, uh, it's going to go to a uh, gallery. Oh, hell no. It's going to go to eBay because mm, I get to do what I want. <laughs> I sent some stuff to galleries, but, but, you know, whatever. I sent a lot of stuff to eBay, too. By the way, I need to clean up this studio. Look at this. This is a nothing mess. Mucho mess in this studio. I had to clean it up. Man, I haven't even put more, you know, I just came up with this right away. I haven't even put more of those. Those are paintings that are ready to go, baby. They're ready to go. Check out this bubble wrap. It's like a, it's a leaning tower of bubble wrap. <laughs> this is where I have, uh, my wife is here and I have a new help in the studio. Her name is Megan. She's awesome, by the way. And uh, yeah, they're, they're doing some cool stuff here. They're just not here right now. I'm the only one right here right now. Got some little frames right there. Man, like I really have to take care of some stuff because I'm like, I'm all over the place right now. Bam, that's my wife when we met. I was like, I can paint you, baby. I can paint you. It's a big painting. It's about seven foot tall. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go and uh, keep working. Keep at it, guys, okay? Don't, don't stop. Don't stop. You stop, you snooze, you lose. Don't stop. Keep going at it. Take care, guys, and oh, let me remind you of that awesome painting. I did some of my drawings right there. Yeah. This baby is going to eBay. For those of you who are like, dude, I didn't hear that. Well, now you can hear it. It's going to eBay. It's measured 16 by 20 inches. Super awesome. Where do I buy the canvas? I buy the canvas all over the place. Uh, whatever store is available. A lot of my canvases, I get them on Blick. Blick. Blick.com and Jerry's Artorama. Those of you who are artists, you guys know what I'm talking about. They sell, it's not quite wholesale, 
although they like to say it is. <laughs> it's it's still they're still retailers. They I, I don't I don't really think it's quite wholesale. But uh, I tried I tried buying from other places who do wholesale, but the the quality wasn't what I wanted. So so I, I tend to buy a lot from from uh, Blick dickblick.com go check it out they sell a lot of stuff by the way they don't they don't pay me to say anything they should pay me to say something by the way uh if you guys know anyone who works for this guys right here the the, the what are they called and graham let him know that i'm like telling everyone to use walnut oil i've told thousands and thousands of people to use walnut oil if you guys know anyone who works there uh Send them my love. Tell them, hey, I know this dude who's like helping you guys sell your walnut oil. Send them some free walnut oil. <laughs> Do I gesso them? I don't gesso them. I only gesso the large canvases. The small ones, I don't really, I don't really gesso. They're already gessoed. I don't like processes, guys. I don't like gessoing stuff. I don't like, I don't even like stretching stuff. I have a handyman who stretches my large canvases if I'm not buying them stretched already. I, I don't like processes. Processes, uh, uh, they're cool. But but I used to do them when it was when when art was a hobby. Now that I that I that I paint for a living, I, I hate processes. I need to just paint. I need to move on to the next one. Yeah, you know? I love moving on to the next one because each little painting that I make or each big painting, whatever, it's a new thing. It's it's like opening a new present, right? I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna go paint this. Bam! I'm gonna go paint this. Bam! Right. So the the, the flow. As long as you keep the flow going. See, processes slowed me down. Like, if I were to go and, and, and prime and stretch canvases and measure and, and think about the subject, it slows me down. It messes with my day. So I don't do that. I don't do that. I just go, oh, my God, canvases. Go paint on them. Right? I, 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 pro processes really slow you down. So, anyways, if you guys like processes, go for it. But I would suggest not to do it. Take care, guys. My name is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Adios. Hasta la vista, baby. Bam.